This will be a basic description of the ignition system of a Technum P2006T twin engine aircraft. We're going to describe the function of the ignition because it's different than the magneto system you may be used to. All this information we can obtain by accessing the heavy maintenance manual for the 912 and 914 Rotax aircraft engines on the Rotax website. We're not going to go too deep into the weeds regarding the electrical connections and electrical flows. We will get as specific as we can, but we're not electricians and our main goal is not to master the theory of electricity. A lot of sources will describe the ignition system as an electronic ignition system. I think we can more accurately describe it as a dual capacitor discharge ignition system or DCDI for short. And that's exactly how Rotax describes their ignition. And if we look at the description from the maintenance manual, we can read verbatim. The Rotax 912 is equipped with dual ignition unit of breakerless capacitor discharge design with an integrated generator. They mentioned breakerless because it does not use breaker points to collapse an alternating current that we're used to seeing in the magneto. Instead, it's going to use a capacitor, or in this case, two capacitors, which will build up an electrical charge and then suddenly discharge that built up energy, sending it in the form of a direct current to the ignition coils where it will increase voltage and get sent out as a spark. We'll start from the very beginning. The first thing we'll look at is the internal generator. Now the generator will simply just convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. And in the case of the Rotax engine, it produces an alternating current that's very similar to a magneto. And because it's geared to the engine, it will allow sparks to fire even if we lose our battery or lose our alternator. So how exactly is this generator producing a current? Well, the first thing that we have is a 10 pole magnet. And this 10 pole magnet consisting just like any other magnet, it consists of north poles and south poles. And it'll spin around stationary stator wires, inducing an electromagnetic flux within these stator wires. The 10 pole magnet may look something like this, and these magnets are spinning around a series of stator wires that are stationary like this. And the way we get the 10 pole magnet to spin around the wires is by using a flywheel, which is geared to the crankshaft of the engine. As this flywheel spins, so does the magnet inducing the flux. As the magnetic flux is being induced in the stator wires, connected to the stator wires are two charging coils. The charging coils, just as their name implies, are using this magnetic flux to charge dual capacitors inside the electronic ignition modules. If we look at our schematic, we can see the charging coils right here, sending that flux to the capacitors. And these electronic modules are the black boxes that we see in our ignition unit that look like this. I think this is probably one of the big determining factors why the ignition system is called electronic because we're storing this electrical energy inside capacitors, whereas magnetos will not operate on this principle, even though they're very similar. So we have the capacitors that are storing the electrical current that's being sent to them by the charging coils. And if we go back to the very beginning where we read the description of the ignition system, it is a capacitor discharge design. That means we need to find a way to discharge the electricity being stored in the capacitors. And the way we do this is through the use of an SCR, and that stands for Silicone Controlled Rectifier, also called a thyristor. And we're not going to discuss too many specifics of silicone controlled rectifiers because we're not electricians and it's not really something that we're going to concern ourselves with. We're pilots and we're looking for more of a general operation of our aircraft systems. But just a real quick rundown of what an SCR will accomplish. An SCR is simply just a diode with a special connection. And as we know from studying electrical systems, a diode consists of an anode and a cathode. And it'll basically allow an electrical current to flow in one direction from anode to cathode. 
but the SCR will contain a third gadget called a gate and we can see from our schematic that we indeed have a gate right here on this silicone controlled rectifier and we won't get into the specifics of how the SCR operates but we will point out that the SCR is responsible for discharging the electrical buildup inside the capacitor. We need to basically send an electrical current to the gate of the SCR in order to trigger the discharge in the capacitor and we accomplish this through the use of trigger coils right here which will trigger a pulse of magnetic flux when a spinning magnet aligns itself with the coil. And as that spinning magnet aligns itself and disaligns itself with the trigger coil, the pulse is sent to the gate and this pulse instantaneously triggers the capacitor to stop charging. And as soon as the capacitor stops charging, it has no choice but to discharge its built up electrical energy in the form of a direct current to the dual ignition coils. The dual ignition coils on the schematic are located outside of the electronic modules and they look something similar to this and we can see they're located on the outside and the ignition coils will consist of a primary coil and a secondary coil very similar to the ones in a magneto and as the direct current is discharged from the capacitor and sent to the ignition coils it travels through the primary coil and as it jumps across to the secondary coil that voltage increases dramatically and that dramatic increase in voltage is sent through the spark wires to the spark plugs and discharged in the form of a spark. What we really want to take away from this is that our ignition system operates very similar to a magneto but it does not fit the definition of a magneto and the main operating principle is the use of a capacitor inside the electronic module which will store up electricity and release or discharge electrical energy in the form of a direct current.